All right, just got through driving the car. It should be up to normal operating temperatures right now. So I'm gonna do the compression test while it's warm. It's the last time I did it while it was cold. So yeah, let's check it out. All right, I think it's pretty safe to say. Engine is blown. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Focusing. Pulling out my spark plugs. Look at how shiny that look. So this happened yesterday. It's stuck in there. Stupid. All right, got my new spark plugs. Um, they are the same ones. I don't know why these ones. I don't know. They're slightly different. But uh, yeah, they're the same ones. ZFR6F, ZFR6F. And these are NGKs, and these are also NGKs. Um, these are also Iridiums. Um, I run these ones just because these are the ones that normally come in the H22. So yeah, um, it should be perfectly fine. So. Now the car is running like absolute garbage. Let me see. Just now it's acting like it didn't want to stay on. Let me see. <clears throat> so I don't know what's up with that. Let me see. Hear that knocking noise? just noticed was that my wide band was reading all the way rich so um probably something going on with the ECU again so I'm gonna go grab my laptop and check that out right now all right so all of this is actually reading right now you can see um the engine is cold it's freezing outside and take air temperature is 46 yeah everything looks to be normal and even this you see the wide band says 8.05 and it says 8.16 so maybe it's just my wide band tripping out and um, yeah I definitely think something is going on because the car is not acting right right now um, yeah I don't know this crap was acting like it didn't want to run which is weird because I was just driving it yesterday and tried to do a compression test and then next thing you know it doesn't want to run all I did literally all I did was change the spark plugs so I don't know right now I have my foot on the clutch and this car trips out if I don't have my foot on the clutch then it's I'll cut off until it gets until the idle see how the idle kind of came up right now so I might be able to let off the clutch oh never mind because it just cut off on it all <laughs> yeah now it don't even want to cut on oh now it says I have one error code let's see there's nothing there, so that leads me to believe that um, it's probably my ECU again bugging out. So, um, real quick, I'm gonna try to just upload the tune. Let's see if that does anything. All right, I just did that. Now let's see. Now it's still tripping out. Yeah, it's not even. I don't know, like a hundred. <laughs> oh, it says five hundred. Yeah. Yeah.
and this is still saying it's running all the way rich. That can't be right. And see, I'm standing in front of the car right now, and it sounds super heavy. <laughs> engine sounds like it's running great. Oh, I forgot I took this off. That's easily what that is. I was about to change the bolt that's on here. Get off that ground, that's why it's tripping. So I'm gonna have to put that ground back on. I'm like, what the heck is going on with this thing? Literally just heard that knocking noise again. It was just random. I don't even know where it was coming from. Honestly, I think my motor's blown. <laughs> I can't find what can be knocking them off. It would have to be something on this side. And if not, that's freaking, I don't know. Fly one boats again. I can kind of hear it. But it was much louder than that just a second ago. Yeah, I just need a new motor, dude. It is what it is. This engine being cursed, so that ain't no surprise. <laughs> Not even gonna um, try anymore just because I know it has been having a, a fueling issue as you can see right now it's running clean uh, whoa, whoa, it's just a second ago. <laughs> every so often it'll just be like at 16 or so which is kind of weird but um yeah it's been having a fueling issue so I'm not gonna uh really get on it like that no more and because it ain't even been working like just heard it it's freaking tripping out right now waiting for this car to freaking pass see how it cracked VTEC for a second then it just blah 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 <laughs> Car feels all right, power wise. Feels stupid, torquey. <laughs> Only when I do that, though. Once I'm in it, see, it's, it feels kind of slow. Yeah. So that's it. I'm done. I ain't gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Just giving y'all an idea of uh, what's been going on with the car. And that's basically it. Um, that's what it's been doing as of late. Um, so, I'm going to just need to, uh, yeah, have to tune her, jump in there and see if he sees anything going on with it. Um, I don't know, I might even uh, have him do that today.
but as of right now, I'm just gonna drive the car the way it is, or not the way it is. I'm gonna drive. I'm not gonna do nothing to the engine, basically. Um, if it's blown, it's blown. It is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna just have the tuner, you know, get it to run as good as it can, and um, that's it. Just. drive it as long as I can until this engine blows up and when this engine blows up then I'm gonna swap in a different one um, I'm really contemplating K but I can't afford that Let's see yeah I'm contemplating K but I can't afford that so that would have to be you know I'd have to start putting that together now and it would probably take me forever to get that so um, that's not really a realistic option but it is an option um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna buy another H22 or an H23 one of the two preferably an H23 and then I'll just slap that head on it or just rock it how it comes depending on which H23 it is it's got to be, um, it can't be one of them 160 horsepower ones. <laughs> if it's one of those, then I'll have to slap that head on it. But, uh, yeah, man, that's where we at. Um, saving up to buy an engine. Well, actually, I'm going to try to buy a daily first. And then I'll buy an engine after that. That should all be pretty, that should be possible. So I've received some more packages. My head's still sitting here, not doing nothing. Uh, I'm gonna take the oil out of that, out of the engine. See if it's metal shavings in there. If it's not, I'm gonna throw that head on. If there is, I'm gonna just put new oil in it and drive this engine until it blows up. So that's the plan as of right now. Um, so yeah. Um, tired of my shifter feeling like trash so I bought some more things for my shifter let's go ahead and check it out all right so this, this is the um I needed a new one of these so I bought this as well as uh this thing here genuine Honda feel yeah um hold on open and this thing here which um this goes inside of here and then it goes on the shifter ball so I'm gonna have to take my shifter off and do all that crap again come on man and I also bought billet bushings this is probably gonna be overkill honestly I think once I throw all this crap on here it's gonna be way too stiff at that point but, um, I don't care. I, I like it that way. <laughs> Alright, so I got all my shifter portions and whatnot done. Check it out. It feels a little bit better. It feels a lot better, actually, but I'm still having side-to-side plate while it's in gear. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that's the uh, trans. That's also why it's not going in reverse right now, because it's broken. Shout out to the homie Justin for helping me. This nigga awkward. <laughs> it's alright. But yeah, it feels a lot better. Um, I haven't driven the car. I'm just checking it right now. But yeah. Basically, when I'm driving this car, if I try to get it wide open throttle, it falls flat on its face. But if I give it maybe like 50%, then it'll crack me. That's bad or something. 
but when I looked at it on the computer, it was reading just fine, so I, I don't see how that could be the case. It's just kind of confusing. Dang, this crap is... My alignment is so terrible, but... <laughs> I'm not holding the wheel. Here's off to the left. Bad. That's why I don't like trying to make videos while I'm driving, honestly. But it's cool because I got the GoPro now, so it's all good. Team, man, what are y'all doing?
fun up until the point that the timing belt fell off and that's you know when i started having issues so pretty sure we can we can count on bent valves being the issue but it is what it is you know Change this head, man. See what we get. 